as we continue our coverage, the question is, so how much rain did we receive in that flash flooding yesterday? Our meteorologist Alex O'Brien is breaking down the numbers and a look ahead to the next round. So we had heavy rain and flash flooding all across the region on Tuesday, and many of you shared your perspective of the flooding. Cindy sharing their view from safe inside her home, sheets of heavy rain and strong winds in Pueblo West. This video in Colorado Springs from Lori shows how high Spring Creek was running yesterday, and then the difference for today where the water has now receded, and you can see just how many feet that creek rose. Now, the north side of Pueblo and Pueblo West had flash flooding, with Nathan sharing this video. When he rolls down the window here in a second, you'll be able to see the flooded frontage road with the rushing, muddy water all along that area. And here is a look at the past 24 hours radar estimated rainfall. The green hue shows about half an inch to an inch. The yellow is that two inch mark. Overlaying the flood and heavy rain reports in El Paso County, there were floods reported in Truckton, Calhan, and a bullseye over Colorado Springs. And the north side of Pueblo and Pueblo West had heavy rain and flash flooding reported as well. And there is more rain to come, so the First Alert 5 weather team wants to make sure you know how to be safe during flash floods. Just remember these four words, turn around, don't drown. Only six inches of rushing water can sweep away a person and just a foot of water for a car. And what you can do right now to be prepared is to turn on emergency alerts on your smartphone. Then you'll automatically get those flash flood warnings. You can also download the First Alert 5 app for watches, warnings, radar, and the forecast. And the NOAA Weather Radio is another great option to get warnings and it will work when cell service is down. In studio, meteorologist Alex O'Brien, News 5.